So let's go through exactly what is going on with some of these early stage assets like Avalanche. It's clear that people want to play off the grid. The first blockchain game on PS5, the closed play test, saw 400,000 transactions from 30,000 players this past weekend alone. That's the first game on PS5 that's running on top of Avalanche. Just getting started with blockchain gaming assets. And we have PayPal's stablecoin on Solana surpassing its supply on Ethereum. The PYUSD stablecoin on Solana has a supply of 377 million, while Ethereum-based PYUSD stands at 356 million. So a massive multi-billion dollar company with hundreds of millions of dollars in assets on top of these public blockchains, just getting started. Then we have the Anchor Protocol. Every 24 hours, Anchor powers 2.3 million end users, three and a half billion total API requests in 160 destination countries. So that's an update from the Anchor Protocol. Clearly just a huge use case for that software and big adoption for that software. Then we have the Bitcoin ETF exposure for the top 25 hedge funds. Literally among the top 25 hedge funds, 13 of them own the Bitcoin ETF, right? These are the biggest hedge funds on the planet. Citadel, Millennium Management. Millennial Management has 27,000 Bitcoin, right? So these are multi-billion dollar hedge funds buying Bitcoin 